we've been talking about the Universal Monsters, uh, NECA's Universal Monsters with uh, crossover with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've already seen Leonardo as uh, as uh, Igor, and we've seen Raphael, who's actually out now, I believe, as uh, Frankenstein's monster. Well, Ryan, yeah. Now we got Mikey. Yeah. Me. Not Ooh, only did we sneeze. see uh Mikey uh the pictures, but we also saw got another one of those really good uh stop animation. Oh, we did. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of previews from NECA, like you know what I mean? Yep. Um and it's so pretty it's, rad. It's actually super cool. So let me let me tell you how this one hit me. Okay. So in the I, I saw the 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 this kind of the the, the, the stop animation uh first, mm. right? And I it there it was the head that, that is not attached to the body in the photo. It was the, the what's shown as the alternate head here. Right. Was the what they were running around with. Mm-hmm. And I gotta admit, I was like, he looks like those pictures of those dissolving like TMNT one and TMNT two heads. Like yes. that's what he looks like. Like yeah. But I, I kind of went, I don't know about that head. Because mm-hmm. he looks a little goofy, and I don't know about that. He does. And then the last shot is him with this head, and I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, got like I, I kind of went like, 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 like sixty minute on that. I was like, <laughs> that's what's up because I love yeah. that the, yeah. the, the nod to that like rotting Absolutely. animatronic head thing that's been going around. Yeah, but I also wanted something a little more in keeping with the Universal Monsters look they've been doing, which is pretty horror. It's pretty on the nose. It it's is not goofy really. Like yeah, they're not doing no. the goofies. So no. I was a big fan that they really included. And it turns out that's the head that we got that little baby preview of at the very first. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Where it was yeah. like almost like grayscale. Yeah. It, it looked dusty. And that right. was the head. It was on the side of the box. I'm glad that it yeah. Looked. Yes. I'm yeah. a big fan of that. Yeah. This is great. And yeah, they, they again, fantastic job. Uh, only complaint is they didn't, uh, didn't well, wait wait no 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 I'm thinking about Mikey when he was um the Invisible Man when Playmates did it uh they he but the Invisible Man had wraps around him too didn't he yeah uh yeah okay that's what I'm getting him crossed he, up he with because he, he was he was it was, like, was clear acrylic and then like painted over where the wraps would be up right that's what I was getting crossed up on because that cr- clear acrylic you know uh six to midnight on that but uh but yeah this figure looks fantastic he's got the onks with as nunchucks like yes. that's that's just so cool. And uh, how yeah, awesome is that? He's coming with like the head that you mentioned, um, and then he's got a bendy snake right here and some extra wraps. Mm. And yeah, he looks fantastic. Now uh, I've got a shot with him uh, and the other turtles that have been released, and yeah, they look pretty stellar together. Um, uh, why don't we go ahead and zoom in on on Leo? Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. As Igor, yeah. Because this is another first look for the show where we've gotten a good for good look at his face. Yeah, this angle, yeah, especially. Um, that is one hundred percent not the sculpt we saw before. Like it, that is one hundred percent. It's one of the that sculpt. is different. We the, saw the original had oh, the hair. They had different heads. Yeah, they okay. So yeah. I much prefer this. Absolutely. The, this is like. Thank you, NECA, I guess, for uh, fixing it b- before it was a problem, mm-hmm. uh, you know, back yeah. when you were designing, because that head is what's up. Uh, the yeah. Billy Goes Gruff, uh, get out of here, in my opinion. <laughs> the other oh, head, yeah. I, I, I you're love. You're talking about. Let me talk about. Yeah, you're talking about the one on the side of the box that had the ha- more of the hair, yeah. like that was like a yeah. render. Yeah, and, no, the, that... and the goof, and the like one eye was like ultra goofy and like yeah. odd, and like I just didn't like it. I, yeah, it was I don't a, it was me. too much of a to me a comical look. Yeah. This is more what I'm looking for. Right. Definitely. Absolutely. And yeah, that Mikey is just Mikey. That's so great. neat. And then next to you get your boy Raph. And yeah, th- those and they ha- just and hey, how great. about how about how about Raph standing taller? Oh like, yeah. Do you see the progression? Oh like, absolutely. See, I love that. Within the within the scale, giving yourself a little bit of height difference because mm-hmm. with the platform boots and the squared off head, he's gonna be taller than you go to Mikey and yep. then scroll over to, to Igor. Like your boy Igor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of, kind of, kind of humping it over there. You know what yep. I'm saying? He's gonna, his head's gonna come to a, a even lower level. Absolutely. Uh, that's that's awesome scale, and it's one of those things that that's something that they're able to do now. That that's so much different than like the way toys were before, where it's like, uh, it's six inches. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And like, everything's and the you same. You kind of had yeah. to deal, but the yeah. proportions. Just look how felt, uh, uh, Mikey is as the mummy. Yeah. And go back over to Igor again, and look how like heavy built he is. Oh yeah. That's just. That's just awesome. 
It is. Like, yeah. that makes them feel like the monsters. It, do- mm. it doesn't feel like they're all the same turtle, but they look a little different. Yeah, I, lo- it, I love it, that. It definitely doesn't because because we're so used to back in the day. Like they did have some variations in a lot of their, the, especially yeah. these crossovers. But there's still this like underlying thing where we've had like just palette swaps of just like you know oh this is just a different color or whatever. And it's like yeah yeah I don't like, know. And and when Playmates was doing it, and mm-hmm. I understand you're, you're making kids toys for like what five dollars MSRP of the day. Like yeah. I understand like it's, it's what's happening. They were Playmates molds Mm -hmm. like like it felt like they were like okay a turtle's body is x dimensions a turtle's legs and arms are x and a turtle's Mm. head is x inside that frame you can play with like the sculpt if you want right Right. we can do frankenstein we can do i mean once again we were just praising love all over the invisible man mikey which is a beautiful figure oh absolutely Uh, but it felt like you got to play in this ballpark and you can't be smaller than it and you can't be bigger than it. Mm-hmm. So enjoy. Right. Yeah. Here, it, it just shows a whole different uh, uh, design philosophy. And of course it, you know, it's a, it's a higher price point figure. It's, it's also the year of our Lord 2022 and <laughs> digital sculpting. Yeah. Like, hello. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like they're able to do more within that area. So oh, totally. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I, we're waiting for that last one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're waiting for that. Right and we have no idea week. about Donnie. We don't know what he's going to be, but we did get the tease that we um, don't know. We did get the tease that it appears that it's going to be Judith Hogue April as yeah. uh, Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, I thought I thought that and correct me if I'm wrong. I thought that that was the fourth one. I thought they uh, mm-hmm. I thought they had talked about doing four. And we know that April and it, we don't know, but we it's it's wink, wink. It's Judith Hogue. But, mm-hmm. but we don't know that. Uh, uh, I thought that was like this block and then they were going right onto another block that may include more which you, where you may get a donnie in that that's but my understanding that's that's my understanding uh, this, i think that uh the old skews there were four skews in the original skew leak from target oh i thought there was only three i remember there only being three but on the back of the bo- right. on the side of the box of Raphael, there's four pictures and there's one of them pictures. and one okay. of them is definitely right. it was the, it was uh, bride three. of frankenstein and then uh yeah. the I'm pretty sure it's it's definitely going to be Judith Hogue from the interview. That that's that's it, make, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes sense because that was one of the big things that kind of blew my mind with the interview that they did with the Foosh. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the Foosh again uh, previously, mm-hmm. where they were like, "Oh no, this is like movie turtles with Universal movie monsters," and I'm like, yeah. "That's yeah, something that, I didn't that, think that's about." That's an important distinction. That's it what is. they said. Like these are based off of the movie turtles line, which doesn't mean anything except for Judith Hogue. Like, or for any like actor character, precisely. Like, that's the big. Their, that's the big thing. Their actor. That's the real thing. It means right. Uh, so which, it limits the pool of that they can choose from. Because and then to, to your point that you were talking about the next block, that's where Donatello is going to show up, and they yes. said that they might have another block after that, but that's a stretch, and they're not sure if that that's going to happen. But it's potential. Yeah. But definitely the second block is going to happen with Donatello. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, these are really exciting to 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 be having in, in our collection. I'm, I, or at least I, I'm excited to have it. Uh, I've got Raph on pre order just waiting to come to me. But I know some people have <laughs> had him and um, said that he's great and a lot of cool stuff about him. So nice. yeah, I'm really excited about this. Now um now we're going to be going into a uh, little bit of speculation, Ryan. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I know you're not the biggest fan of the speculation uh, zone, but I, I just, I, I wanted to, I can come and go and I can be there too. I'm like, yeah, the, the, you know, what's the point? But this is fun because I really want this to be the case. I really want this to happen. So, um, so Target and NECA are going to be having this collab where they're doing something in March. In the, but I think of the, I think of the middle of March, it's going to be called Holothon. And uh, essentially it's going to be this thing where it's going to be, two or four weeks or something like that of just like a co- online collector event where they're going to have like special releases and they're going to have like signed things that they're going to be au- not auctioning, but having t- for, you know, pre-order and whatnot. And yeah. it's going to be a lot of interesting things with the different lines. I think NECA is the main partner with it, uh, but some other people might be involved as well. Nevertheless, the most important takeaway is that Kevin Eastman, who you see on the screen right here in a very stretched out version, uh, was um, made a promo for the Holothon. And uh, I'm getting this news from uh, ToyNewsEye.com, who's a credible toy news uh, website. And um, 
they posted this and they had said that, uh, you know, Kevin did this short promo video and in the background, you can see two sets of NECA cartoon turtle sets. Now they've, uh, in the picture, they've drawn arrows to both sets that are in the background. Now this video is like super quick. It's, it's, I think it might even be 30 seconds if that, and, uh, back and to the left, back <laughs> and to the left. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you're breaking this thing down. Pretty much. So that's Emma Wilson in the chat, by the way. Oh, okay. So the first thing is the turtle set. Now we see this here. Uh, they talked about NECA has mentioned that they want to keep the turtles in the line. It makes sense. Every toy line does this. You know, if it's Marvel Legends, you got Iron Man and Wolverine and, and stuff like that, and different Avengers constantly coming up, different costumes, which is argued makes a lot more sense. But um, you know, Masters of the Universe has He Man and whatnot. So the turtles, they're definitely going to have their just regular versions they got a couple different color deco decos they can do and um decos that's what i was trying to say and they had mentioned mentioned this that's possibly what this is but that's not the big news ryan that's that's just you know we we assumed as much the big takeaway is this thing right here so robotic bebop and rocksteady super bebop and mighty rocksteady this kind of resembles that said, because it doesn't, they look bigger. The, I know it's, it's blurry. The image is very blurry because it's in the background, but this is a possibility that they, now NECA is making everything. So they're definitely going to have these coming out. Like this is not a thing that's just, you know, one day or, or, or like it far off possibility. Like it is a, for certain fact that they are pretty much going to cover everything in the cartoon. And so these figures in this blurry image definitely do look like the appearances of Bebop and Rocksteady in the uh, the episode titled Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady from uh, yeah. Season 3, Episode 27, uh, October 1989. And I'm super excited about these if this is what it is. Now, it, at first I was like, I don't know about that, but they're... Rocksteady just looks too bulky, like a lot more bulkier than uh, than he should in this blurry image yeah. and uh some of the color palette looks a little grayer than their than they should be in their like their normal skin tones and i the biggest thing is is that there's this hard line across his chest that uh or, or where his stomach should be like where his stomach starts uh or his gut should be and that's what kind of has given me like the the girth of the figure as well as that that's kind of making me lean a little bit more towards uh this might be actually what that is. And if that's the case, I am super excited because Playmates put out uh, metallic robotic versions of Bebop and Rocksteady. And those are some of the most beautiful figures from that line. Oh, they're pretty great. That we've yeah. ever seen and like huge fans of that. And so um, that's just a little bit of speculation. But I am like eagerly anticipating them when NECA does it. If it's not, if these aren't them, they're eventually going to do them. But uh, but I, I I and I hope sooner rather than later, of, of course. But it would be really neat to see at the NECA ho Holocon. Is that, that sounds a holothon? Holocon sounds like something Hol else that's really horrible. But um, holothon, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I hopefully never, never again. Never again. So hopefully this is what this this will come to fruition, and it won't be a nightmare to get. But this is what yeah is on the horizon hopefully and i'm fingers crossed everybody but again this is speculation so uh yeah and that's the news for uh this toy fair uh you know like quick little toy fair segment quick i said quick, quick. yeah no. Holy, like hour and a half you said quick yeah the, yeah the words came out of your mouth it did. Okay. It did. uh yeah obviously that is a a, a a massive kind of uh drop as far as like uh toy news goes yes. i gotta say I might have to be in your ear about about. I mean, you might have to show me the way, senpai, about uh, how to get pre order and how to win the oh. play contest or whatever I got to do. Uh, <laughs> you know, get mad like you know, die mad about it like everybody else trying to get right. these Archie figures. Yeah, because like I feel like once I start, you know, once I pop, I'm not going to stop. Like, oh, it's true. It's dangerous. I need to have the Archie guys. Yeah. Like, I like you know, like I, I love everything Neca does. Almost, I mean, I, I can't think of a figure Neca made I'm not a fan of, except for right. maybe April with those weird knees. Yeah. Um. You know, we'll work on that. But uh, you know, somebody in chat pointed out that uh, that unfortunately Renee, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of knee action. 
you yeah. Know, the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. But it's if, tricky. For some reason to me, it's not as bad. It's uh, not as, as bad. As it's April. not. But, but like, I love it pretty much everything they've done with very few exceptions. But mm-hmm. like, to me, like Archie's where my heart is. Like, yeah. I, those figures and the fact that they're making, I'm like, I want to do my part to support it. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're rolling out big time. I'm just trying to think of the figures they may make. Like, We've only gotten a splash in the pan. You know you've yeah. got Mondo Gecko. Oh, Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely. You know you're gonna be you're gonna need to get your Archie Armagon, which is Armagon oh, Prime. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like we 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 got we already have Armagon figures and they're beautiful because you know video game and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We've got that going, okay? But Armagon, yeah. Uh, I can't even start to name some of the characters that I'm ultra excited about. You've got El Falca. The, uh, um oh then uh, yes um i mean no you've got ninjara bro like, ninjara i mean like like th- even there April. are figures that are going to need to happen yeah like you you've got uh f- i mean the mind boggles like the more these characters just start coming out mm-hmm. in my head about like uh, and i'm just like this is like amazing mm-hmm. um so i i can't wait to see it yeah splinter from the line April. You know that Splinter, dude. April with that like jacket. April from the line. Oh, the red hair, the jacket. Yeah. Like you know, coming yeah. with that Ninjato. Mm-hmm. Like learning her way. Uh, Chushi, the warrior dragon. Oh, you like, imagine what they can do with him. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. Tons of people. It is massively awesome. Mm-hmm. So the Archie stuff and everything here is great. Uh, yeah. The Archie stuff has really taken me. Yeah. Like that's, absolutely. The fact absolutely. that you could just have a Mighty Mew Channel set is mm. uh, a real life thing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, the IDW stuff that they've announced that they're going to basically have a new partnership with them. So that's a whole other yeah. door that's opening up. Oh, that and, is a whole other door. Yeah, it's just that. And the fact that they it's funny because we're in a time now where um, I remember when Masters of the Universe was uh, was classics was coming out. And we had there was this thing where, like, it felt as if we had to inform Mattel sometimes of what <laughs> figures to make. As yeah. fans, because it seemed like Mattel, like so, uh, the, some of the people knew, but they didn't know how mu- like how like important those characters were, or, or something like yeah. that. Something there was a disconnect. And here with NECA now, in the, in the time that we're in now, uh, in toy collecting, um, it, it feels like they are almost informing the fans to to a point where they're le- like, remember this, remember this obscure thing, you you forgot about this. You could be the most diehard turtle terrier there is, and you don't know what this is or you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what it feels like. And it's fun to be in this situation now where, where it's like, I can sit back and enjoy this without feeling like I have to do homework to try to like get on some message boards and do some like keyboard stuff to yes. like let them know. And it's very uh, exciting to be able to relax and trust that there's a toy company that is going to take what, care of us and do it the right way. And what I'll yeah. say is this, when we started, when we started our podcast, okay, this is, back, this is like 2012. Yeah. Okay, we start the podcast. Mm-hmm. We start reading Mirage. We start, and, and at the time, NECA had done that that little kiss, that sweet little kiss. Oh of, yeah. of Mirage toys, and they were <coughs> being bootlegged to hell because they weren't in production. Mm. <coughs> and now, and then we started reading Adventures. Laying back in the chair, saying, "You know, it'd be really cool, yeah. Uh, if Neca, <laughs> okay, check this out. So Neca makes every character in Adventures, and they look awesome. And it, <laughs> it looks like those uh, bootleg uh, Necas you got on the shelf, and they look great. Yeah, and you laugh and go, yeah, sure, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like, why don't they make? I don't know. You know, while they make figures of us while they're at it, you right. know what I mean? I, like that was really the feeling. Like, yeah. like, like if you would have suggested that." We'd be seeing this mm-hmm. in 2012. Yeah, ten years ago, that's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, and totally. Just now far-fetched. we are just covering the Toy Fair reveal in the future mm-hmm. of 2022 and saying like, oh no, like okay, so it's not, it's not just a nod to like one character from Adventures. They're they're moving in right to Archie Adventures. Yeah, like they're doing more Mirage. Like you've got the more probably. I mean, I don't offend people. In my opinion, the best Yusagi Yojimbo character, like 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 figure figure, just right. going. Yeah, yeah. That's just happening right now. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great time. It but is. It, that that's kind of what what's been hit me over the head this entire like you know like like segment. I've just mm-hmm. been like, 
2012, I would have been like, yeah, yeah, why don't well, they make a figure of me with my favorite guitar, too, while yeah. we're at it? Like, th- that's how stupid it felt <laughs> right, to say right. that. And now, yeah. here NECA is in the full swing, and it's just, like, ridiculous. It is. Like, how much has changed Absolutely. in that time? Well, uh, let us know what you think about these. Are you excited about them as much yeah. as we are? Are you going to buy a, cu- a mountable, cuddly carrying case for your figures? Uh, and if so... Would you get a divorce over it? Yeah. If it hung on the wall? Exactly. And it was like, it, it's, and spouse goes, uh-uh. And you go, yeah. huh, well, you're uh-uh in our future. And you grab right. your thing and you pack... You, you just get, you you pack just get your, in Cuddly's you mouth. You pack your figures in Cuddly's mouth yeah. and wear it like a little baby backpack. Oh, yeah. And then you just... you You just have a pile of clothes. Like right. You could have put your clothes in there, but no. But that's where your neck of stuff goes. That's where your neck of stuff goes. And is. now you're going to carry a pile and you just walk out of the house into the sunset. And and is when that you what walk you're out do over Cudley? And when you walk out, that? you can't say anything. You just have to whistle cuz that's what that's what Cudley does. He no. just whistles. No. No. You say else time, Eric. Oh, that's what you say on the way out. He does say else time. Like let's Dang. be honest. He's the guy who started you walk out and your spouse is screaming like, yeah. oh, all the years you're going to walk out. You turn around and you just yeah. calm and go, else time. Else time. Yep. And you peace out. You know and what then I'm saying? You could, and then you uh, could whistle. After yeah. That. If you're, if you're going to be army building uh, some Ooh, crooked yeah. Ninja Turtles gang, you know what I'm saying? Not only, not only, I mean, like, not only tell us, but like send us pictures afterwards. I want to see a oh, bunch of those guys together. Absolutely. Um, uh, all that stuff. Let us know. Show at gmail.com. You can always email us. And, uh, yeah, we're live every uh, every week on YouTube, Thursdays mm-hmm. at, uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. So uh, come yeah. check us out and uh, go visit our YouTube page where we have so many more videos just like we this We do. One. So there you go. Well, uh, as Cudley does say, we're going to say it too. Else time. <laughs>